Hello friends. This week, as you know, is the week in which we've entered into these very uh, deep restrictions in our lives and circumstances. And I'm mindful particularly of just how uh, fatiguing and worrying I'm sure that this is for you and your family circumstances, in your livelihoods, in just the, the concern of the, the possibility of contracting COVID and all of these circumstances which you find yourselves in today. So I just want to acknowledge that today uh, as I begin my weekly message with you. But I also want to assure you that the Lord's with you. He comes through, we've just in our Sunday readings have heard of the Lord coming on the storm and bringing calm and peace to our lives. So may that also be uh, something for you at this time. There are things in the midst of all of this, uh, this deep, deep struggle and, and difficulty that are nonetheless uh, moments of light and joy and goodness. And just yesterday on the feast of Mary MacKillop, uh, our own saint, uh, here in our archdiocese, I ordained uh, a, a young man, well, younger than me, uh, to the uh, diaconate. His name is Alex Chow. And Alex, uh, within the context of the only allowing five people, we were able to ordain him and now he is coming to serve within the life of our local church here as a steward of God's grace for us into the future. So this is a, a, a beautiful uh, moment within the, within the challenging circumstances we find ourselves. If you want to watch the uh, ordination, it's available on our, our YouTube channel for the Archdiocese, as is the Sunday Mass and the weekday Masses here at the Cathedral. Um, so that's always available for you uh, if you wish, along with these um, messages that I send out. I'm actually at a particular place in our Cathedral today, and I thought I'd just... Um, I've pointed out to you. So you, you will see this lovely uh, 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 sculpture here with a bishop's mitre on top, the bishop's um, hat. Um, and this is the place in our cathedral uh, which uh, is where the former archbishops of Melbourne have been buried. So this is a, a, a sculpture associated with that. Behind me you might see the various uh, uh, information about each of the archbishops who are buried here and they're actually buried underneath where I'm standing at the moment. So there's a crypt underneath the uh, cathedral floor where uh, each are buried. It's worth just remembering them I think because they uh, have been the leaders of the church in our um, archdiocese for these last 173 years uh, from the time of um, Archbishop Gould starting as the first Archbishop and then all the rest that have come through. Each have been, like me, a sinner in that we're, we all have, uh, like all of us, we're all in need of the Lord's love and tenderness, but they've been great leaders too. And so I just want to acknowledge my brother predecessors and, uh, and commend them to the Lord and, and for the uh, good works that they did in building up the life of uh, the gospel and the life of the church here in our Archdiocese of Melbourne. Until next week, all the blessings of the Lord to you. May he bring the sense of his calm amidst the storms that we're confronting at this time.